Hey guys, how are you? It's still Pride Month. Where is my flag that I was going to celebrate with? Oh my god. It doesn't matter if you love him or capital H I M M M M M. Just put your paws up because you were born this way, baby. It's June 21st, and today I thought that I'd make a video about bisexuality. And ciao, ciao. The reason for that is because if you didn't know, I'm bisexual, and that's sort of part of the LGBTQIA+. So there's lots and lots of misconceptions about bisexuality, so I wanted to clear some of that up, define it for you guys, and talk about my experience with being bisexual. So if you're interested, stick around. So I think I wanna begin this video with talking about the definition of bisexuality, which is a person who is attracted to both men and women. Now, lots of things have changed or evolved since this definition uh, was come up with, but now that there's lots of people who do not identify with a certain gender, in my opinion, those people are included in that bisexuality. That's why some people like to go by pansexual rather than bisexual, so that they can include more people, that it's more about the personality and not someone's attributes. But with my bisexuality, it just, for me, that means that I can like whoever I like. And that's not based on how someone expresses their gender or about their genitals either to me. It's about the person. My bisexual story, how do I start with this? Um, I knew that I was bisexual growing up. I think I did know, um, in pre-K, I, I wasn't obviously really paying attention that much. I, I was, um, I did like a boy at that time. And that's why I bring it up because there were other girls that liked him and I was like, oh my God, like what if we all liked each other? That would be so cool. Almost like a polyamorous thing. Um, but I'm not polyamorous. I really knew that I was bisexual in the second grade but I didn't know that there was a word for it. I didn't know that necessarily that it was possible to like more than one gender. In second grade, I used to say that I was a lesbian, even though I grew up liking boys. But in second grade is when I had a crush on one of my best friends. And we're still, um, she's still one of my best friends today and it's hilarious. It was so cute and I would say that I was a little lesbian and I was like following in my mom's footsteps and it was adorable but I didn't know that I I didn't know that you that I didn't have to be a lesbian that I could like boys and girls and not just boys or just girls. So I went on into middle school still not knowing that bisexual was a thing or a word but it, it was internally to me, I'd be like, oh my god, she's so cute, oh my god, he's so cute, oh my gosh, they're all so cute, or I'm attracted to them, and I like their personality, and uh, I, I think it was sixth grade that I heard of the word bisexual, and I was given the wrong definition. I was given the definition that bisexual was sort of like polyamorous, how you date a boy and a girl at the same time. That's what I thought. That's what I thought that bisexual was until the seventh grade. And then I was like, oh, that's the thing to like boys and girls. Then that's what I am. That makes so much sense. It was like, I just needed to define it. I needed a word to represent my how I was feeling and you guys know um, I 
had two lesbian mothers at this time, I decided to come out to my mom, my birth mom anyway. Um, Cause I don't actually, I don't know if, maybe my mom may have been single at this time, but I came out to my mom and it was really super awkward because I knew that I was going to be accepted by her. Even if she wasn't a lesbian, I knew that I would be accepted by her, but especially because she was a lesbian. So I just sat down on the couch with her and I was like, she was sitting on one couch and I was sitting on the other and she was watching TV and I was sort of like staring at her like, I don't know how to do this. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to do this, but I don't know, like this is weird. And so I was just like, um, mom? She was like, yeah, and I was like, um, I'm bisexual. And she's like, I already knew that. And I was like, oh, okay. So that's how that went. And <laughs> of course it was fine and she doesn't even care. Seventh grade is about the time I started identifying with that word and telling people, you know, I'm bisexual. If it ever, I guess, came up about boys or girls or liking people because middle school was full of hormones. So then, you know, the acronym LGBT started making a lot more sense since I was identifying more letters of my community. Um, obviously transgendered. I think us as a whole, for the, the majority of us, uh, use queer as a word to describe any letter in the alpha in our alphabet um, just you being part of the LGBTQ community honestly not sure what the I means and I'm pretty sure the A means asexual but or or aromantic but it I don't know what the I means that's sort of bad I guess I'll talk about people's reaction to me being bisexual. I don't think anyone really cared. In mi middle school was a weird time, so you were either for gay rights or you weren't. Um, so there was, you know, we celebrated like the day of silence and um, oh, spirit day, the day that you wear purple. We celebrated some of those things in middle school but some people like were definitely totally into it and some people were like, oh no, like let me make sure I don't wear purple on that day. So that was a weird time, but I mean, everyone is totally fine with it now. And when I came out to one of my best friends, um, my cousin Kara, she had a funny reaction. She was sort of like weird. I think that she was like low key weirded out, but then she was like, because people automatically assume, and I don't think that she did this, but another friend from high school did this. Um, people assume when you're bisexual, and I guess if you tell it, if you say that to a girl, they automatically think that you like them or that you're attracted to them. And that's not how it works. Like people, when I tell people that I think they're a little like cautious at first, or at least a couple of years ago they were, until they got to know me more and are like, oh, okay. She doesn't like me. You know, it, you know, we're not gonna have this awkward friendship. Ironically, I've only been in relationships with guys. Um, not on purpose, it's just so happened out that way. And it's hard to find out people, you know, who, because heteronormativity is such a thing, like how people automatically assume that you're heterosexual, it's hard to bring up like uh, do you like girls you know are you um a part of the lgbt community like because how are you supposed to flirt with someone if and then it'll be awkward because they don't like they don't like you like that and i mean depending on who you're around or who you're with in a relationship when you tell a guy that or being a girl telling a guy that you're bisexual, they'll be like, threesome? But why do people automatically assume that? Or like, they think that, okay, we could be in a polyamorous relationship, I could have two girls, woohoo, and you're like, 
No, I'm very much so monogamous, but cool. One thing that I do want to mention while I'm on the subject of sexuality or being in the LGBTQ plus community in general is that we are very uniting. We do promote love a lot, obviously. And yet, there is still within our community people that will not accept each other or will not believe each other on being who they are. But we need to change that. We need to just accept people. Even if you don't believe someone, or first of all, you're not them, but just accept accept them let them do their thing let them figure themselves out and it's not your place to judge someone on for things like that you know show respect to people you know whether you because there's lots of newer terms out there like non-binary and asexual and aromantic all of these things people are still learning about and i think it's all very important that we take the time to learn if we're in this community to uh, protect each other and accept each other and understand each other more so that was my psa thank you guys so much for watching i hope that i can do this as an annual thing and come up with like more slash better ideas and have your guys input on what you'd like to see for me really any month but cool months like this annual. I hope you liked it and if you did please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Also I have a blog, a Facebook page for the blog and for the YouTube channel, um, an Instagram that is for both of those as well, and a Twitter. So those will be down below. Check me out if you're interested. I love you guys so much and remember love trumps hate.